In the final part of this question, we want the probability of finding x between 93 and 107. So again, this one might seem complicated. So maybe it helps to just do a diagram. So let's take a look at what we're actually given here. Well, we know a couple of things, don't we? We know that 100 is the mean, that's the center. We know that at 107, we know something about this area here. We also know something about this area here in case we need them, right? We know this is 0 0.24. We know that this over here is 0 0.26. That's what we know from here to here. That's 0 0.26. Now, they want it at 93. So maybe it helps to just to kind of draw that. And here's the problem. We're, it seems like we're kind of stuck. I mean, we need to know this. We need to know uh, what is this area right here this whole thing from here to here. It looks like I just drew like a hipster mustache or something. <laughs> so we want it from 93. We want from that value of 93 all the way up to 107. Keep in mind, we already know the area or the probability from 100 to 107. We know that value there is 26% or 0.26. So let's look and see if maybe symmetry can help us. If you look at this, from 100 to 107, that's seven units to the right. And if we go seven units to the left, it's 93. In other words, from symmetry, we know then, this is the kind of almost magical part, we know this then. That this is also 0 0.26, this piece from here. Because if that piece to the right, you know, from the mean to that 0 0.107 here, if that's 0 0.26, that by going seven to the right, then seven to the left is also the same amount. And because of that, if I want to know this area right here, which is from 97 to 107, you see how that area is just going to be, all I have to do is just add up those two probabilities. So it's going to be 0.26 plus 0.26. That's it. So that's 0.26 times 2. So it's at 40. That's uh, 52. So 0.52. That's it. We've fully solved this question.